Hi there, this month in May 2022, Amazon just released a new update that is making headlines across all the major news websites. They are finally adding support for this file format called EPUB. Now, when I first heard about this update, I was very shocked and surprised. For as long as I can remember, Amazon never really liked supporting EPUB because it was the industry standard used by a lot of other people in the e-reader industry. And also, they preferred using their own file formats, locking people into their Amazon ecosystem. That's why when I heard about EPUB support for Kindle, I was very skeptical and I knew something was not right. Why would Amazon have a sudden change of heart? Why would they intentionally allow books from other e-readers to be supported on the Kindle platform? This would be a major shift in Amazon's philosophy when it comes to Kindle. After doing some research and digging, I came to the conclusion that this update is not nearly as amazing as it sounds. There are three major topics I want to cover. First, let me explain what an EPUB is and how the history of it connects to Kindle. If you don't know what EPUB is, that is okay, but you probably know what a PDF is. PDFs are very common for text documents in the digital world, and on eBooks, PDFs do work, but they are not nearly as flexible because you can't change things like fonts, font sizes, and all those other fun customizations that you would want to be able to edit in a book. That's where the EPUB format comes into play. This is a standard format used across the e-reader industry for books, and you can actually do fun things like customize fonts and all those things you'd want to do in a book that PDFs don't support. Now, before this update, if you owned an EPUB or downloaded a book online somewhere outside of Amazon, you would not be able to put that EPUB file on your Kindle. What you'd have to do first is actually convert it to an Amazon format that did work on Kindle and then load it onto your Kindle. So it was possible, but there was one extra step of having to convert an EPUB to an Amazon format before you can use it. With that context out of the way, let me actually explain what Amazon is doing with this update to support EPUBs. Let me make one thing clear from the beginning though. They are not adding native support for EPUBs. You cannot sideload EPUBs onto your Kindle with this update. What I mean by that is you can't plug in your Kindle to the computer and drag and drop EPUB files to your Kindle and see them magically appear on your library screen. That will not work. Honestly, the way I see it, they should really be calling this feature added conversion support for EPUBs. What they're allowing you to do now is send EPUBs to your Kindle through the send to Kindle feature via email, and that feature will automatically convert the EPUB for you to an Amazon format. By the time the EPUB is actually on your Kindle, it is no longer an EPUB. They are converting it in the cloud on the back end for you to remove that one extra step from the process. Now, right now, this conversion update is only working for the send to Kindle feature via email, but they're also gonna add EPUB support to the desktop apps for both Mac and Windows later this year. So you can use those apps to convert EPUBs to your Kindle automatically through the app. Now, the funny thing is you could actually still do this before this update came out. There was always support for EPUBs being converted to the Amazon format through the Amazon Send To feature as well, but you'd have to do a little trick by renaming your EPUB to a .txt file, a .png, or a .zip file. They would kind of trick and hide the EPUB from Amazon system, but it would still convert that file to a readable format on your Kindle. So all they're doing now is you don't have to do that at all. You can just drag and drop the EPUB as a file attachment to your email, send it to your Kindle, it'll take care of the conversion just like that. As you can see, this is clearly not native support for EPUBs. The thing that we actually want to see, they are not adding support for that yet. I actually think it's the opposite because once you put that EPUB file into the send to Kindle feature and the file ends up on your Kindle, you no longer have an EPUB, you have an Amazon file. So if you wanna get that EPUB, you have to save the original file somewhere, otherwise you lose it and you're stuck with the Amazon file file instead. The other really annoying thing about this update is there's no guarantee that your EPUB will look good on your Kindle. I've seen reports online saying it looks great on your iOS app or your computer, but on the Kindle e-reader, it looks so bad or the other way around. It really depends on the EPUB. And one thing that I find really annoying is when you send an EPUB to your Kindle, you aren't going to see the book cover come up in your library screen. You'll just see the text as a thumbnail, which is really annoying. I really want to see my book cover 
numbers in my thumbnails, especially with the last Kindle update. Those thumbnails are so big now, you really wanna have that artwork there. I really think the whole point of this update is Amazon trying to make it as easy as possible for anyone to take a file on their computer, a personal document, and send it to their Kindle. Having EPUB support is a major step in that direction because it's a very common book format for digital books. The problem with this mission though is they're also locking people in to the Kindle ecosystem. You can't just take all these files you're putting on your Kindle and transfer them off the device very easily. You're converting them to an Amazon format, which is definitely a convenience thing if you only want to use a Kindle, but if you have other devices that you want to use in the future, this feature will actually make it harder for you to do that. One more thing I want to talk about that's pretty big news in this new update is they're no longer going to be supporting Mobi files after the end of this year. Now before they added this EPUB support, if you went to a website online and wanted to download a book that was not being purchased from the Amazon bookstore, chances are you would be downloading it in a Mobi format. It was the proprietary format owned by Amazon, but it was the most common format you would see online for third-party books. And Amazon is effectively saying those files will no longer be supported at the end of this year. Now the good thing though is this only applies to the send to Kindle feature. So if you have these Mobi files, you can still sideload them via USB, drag and drop them onto your Kindle. That is really what sideloading is. If you can drag and drop a file without converting it, that is the gold standard that you want to have. And Mobi files will still work for that purpose, but you won't be able to add them as an attachment to the send to Kindle feature anymore after August of this year. Now my thoughts on this are pretty straightforward. I think this is a big deal because a lot of websites on the internet offer Mobi files because EPUBs weren't supported on Kindle for the longest time. So it'll be a very big transition for these websites to offer EPUBs if they don't already have them for their Kindle downloaders. And then also on top of that, Mobi is a very old file format that doesn't support all the new features that Amazon wants to do. So I do think the end of support for Mobi is a good thing in the overall grand scheme of things, but I do think there'll be a bit of a transition to get everyone onto the EPUB format now instead of Mobi. Now, if you already have Mobi files on your Kindle, the good thing is this will not impact any of that. You can still use Mobi files like that and transfer them freely over USB. This update will only apply in August where you can no longer transfer them via the send to Kindle feature feature, which is not the end of the world, but it may be a big inconvenience for people who like to transfer ebooks they found online regularly. Now in this video, we've been talking quite a bit about this send to Kindle feature. If you haven't used it before, it's actually very, very powerful. It's a great way to wirelessly transfer documents from your computer to your Kindle. I have a whole video that talks about this one feature. I want to encourage you to watch it so you understand the implications of all these new updates coming out for EPUBs. Link for that video on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.